Hey guys, Chris at the Ultimate Recycler. Here's a really quick repurposing project, uh, which I think you'll like. Um, be a really short clip, just show to show you how to make a, uh, a vertical herb tower or a, a little garden out of waste materials. Uh, it's really repurposing at its best. So uh, hold on and I'll show you exactly how I make it. Okay, the materials for this little project are really easy to find. Um, these screens are off your standard pedestal fans. Um, you see them alongside the road on hard rubbish days all the time. I think a new pedestal fan you can pick up from hardware for like $15 or $20. Um, second hand they have virtually no value. So the scrappers will grab the motor off them or chop the cord off. But why not grab the whole thing? Um, and we can use these screens. Just save up a few until you get three with roughly the right or the same diameter centre hole. Okay, the other thing you always see on roadsides is old office chairs. Um, often they're um, stained or torn or something, but the bases are usually pretty solid. Sometimes they're on wheels. This one isn't. It doesn't make a lot of difference. A um, bit of old rusty chain here. It's just a light gauge dog chain. Uh, a piece of um, PVC pipe. Fairly rigid, not a, not a flexible sort of poly pipe, but a more of a, an electrical conduit type, but just a short length. And uh, down here I've just cut some, um, this is just the horsehair type padding inside an old mattress and um, some pieces of cardboard from a cardboard box. So this is really repurposing at its best. Um, no need to go to the hardware and buy anything. So uh, hang on to your hats and I'll show you how I put it together. Okay, um, I've got the bit of pipe here that fits really snugly over the... Uh, top of the chair post or the stand post um, you may have to to bush the piece out you know you need it fairly snug or the thing's going to wobble um, equally you could use a, a steel pipe rather than a piece of PVC whatever's handy but it needs to be rigid so the thing doesn't wobble around so I just dropped these um, the wire screens over uh, I've put the larger one at the bottom so that uh, the thing looks kind of balanced um, and you could do different sizes and almost end up with a Christmas tree effect. Uh, I've gone with three, you could easily hang more. Uh, so I've got short lengths of chain here that I've just hang from the top. And uh, I've counted the lengths so that they're all the same length. And then the longer lengths of chain, um, I've got hooks, little hooks twitched in with pliers to hang the middle one and then the bottom ones hang off the bottom of the chain. So you could space them out to whatever suits. Now, the, uh, the cardboard, um, I'm using, I've actually used this one before, that's why they're kind of shaped. Uh, if you're using a flat piece of cardboard, it might be handy to soak it in some water just or dampen it so it sort of bends a bit easier and moulds to the shape of the screen. But um, they fit in, okay, and once they're wet, they, they kind of then form their own shape. Uh, and this... Uh, the horsehair felt from out of an old mattress just fits in. Again, I've cut circles with a slot on one side so you can fit it around the centre pole. So um, you can see how it goes together really easily, really quick. And um, you know, you could knock a few of these out if you save up a few fan screens and um, the office chairs are always available. It could be a breakfast bar stool or something like that. Um, they've all got any sort of stand that's going to work as long as it's stable. So now we just tip a bit of dirt in. Um, just got a couple of uh, old pot plants here that the, the plants had died so I'll reuse the dirt. Uh, getting a, a couple of inches thick so uh, there should be ample depth there to grow plants. And uh, you can see it doesn't take long at all. So there you have it, the finished uh, little garden. I've just planted a few strawberries in there. Um, but you can see how cute it looks. Great use of uh, really just discarded materials uh, absolutely zero cost um, certainly for me with my yard full of bits and pieces but you know even if you do got to go and buy a bit of uh, PVC pipe um, it's a super cheap little I'll call it a, uh, a garden tower perhaps you could equally grow herbs um, put some chives in a few other herbs the only, the only drawback, not that it's a drawback, but just to be aware that uh, they do dry out fairly quickly because of the air circulation, so it would need to be watered regularly. 
but I've got probably two or three inches of soil in with the uh, the horsehair. You could also use um, carpet underlay, uh, and I think you can even buy like a woven type um, material that they put in hanging pots and things. Uh, the cardboard just stops all the water rushing through and, and it drying out, so the cardboard will uh, will obviously rot away. But look, how easy is it just to to tip them out and um, find another cardboard box? So yeah, great little repurposing project here. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one here. I just put some strawberries in because my strawberry patch is uh, very well populated. Uh, I might put this out the front of the shop and hang a $50 price tag on it and see if we can turn someone else's rubbish into 50 bucks. So, um, yeah, there you go. So if you like my project, subscribe to my channel. I'd love some comments. Um, I've never seen one of these before. It just dawned on me one day when I was sorting out some stuff in the yard and scrapping a few old fans. So... Um, Thanks for watching, we'll catch you in the next video.